Hi everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm Sir Ramel Bagalas, your subject teacher for Practical Research 1. This module was designed and written with you in mind. It is here to help you master the importance of research in daily life. The scope of this module permits it to be used in many different learning situations. The language use recognizes the diverse vocabulary level of students. The lessons are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course, but the order in which you read them can be changed to correspond with the textbook you are now using. The module is divided into two lessons, namely Lesson 1, Research Experience and Knowledge, Lesson 2, Importance of Research. After going through this module, you are expected to 1. Share research experience and knowledge. 2. Explain the different life processes. You have heard probably the term research during your junior high school or from someone who have taken the subject in senior high school. I am pretty sure that this term has petrified you, chilled you out, and made you anxious. Some of them shared their unforgettable experience on this subject. Nonetheless, you cannot deny that somehow you are afraid to take this chance. According to Kaur 2014, those are just misconceptions about research. Research is not what you think of. We can say that part of their stories are true, and part of those are exaggeration. Nevertheless, if you would just realize how exciting and engaging the process of research is, you would definitely be interested in doing it. Research is fun. Here, you are going to explore, to investigate, and to understand the phenomenon, and to establish new knowledge that is worthwhile to discover and to share. Research is easy. It is just requiring to commit yourself and to exert extra effort in understanding the rudiments on how to write it down, and to enhance the skills that you need. It. If you are worrying for your just easy senior high school student, an amateur, and novice who lacks skills and determination, probably erase it down because the skills and the process itself is not new to you. You have been researching for a long time. Remember how many times you search for a solution to your problem or investigate to know the answer to your questions. Can we consider them as form of informal research? Definitely, yes, they are. If you think research is not for you, let me give you some instance that you might have applied researching. Can you still recall when your math teacher asks you to solve a mathematical problem that you cannot understand? Thus, no matter how you try, you cannot find the right answer or concept behind it. Most probably, you ask somebody to help you out or you open your cell phone and search for a video tutorial. Can you still recall when you first played your favorite online game and no matter how much you tried, you still cannot defeat your opponent's hero? I think what you did was to ask your friend or an expert to help you out, or you search the internet for answer. The process that you have done is research. You had a problem, you establish your methods on how to solve your problem, you conduct a literature review or an actual interview and survey. Then you came up with solutions. This requires you to search and to overcome your problems. Research flows in the same manner. Doing research does not necessarily mean creating extraordinary things like Mark Zuckerberg to develop Facebook or even Zhang Yimin to create a TikTok. Technologically, research came from Re and search. Re is a prefix that means again, and search is a word which means to look for. Therefore, research is to look for something. There are two things that we need to take note of in this definition. First, Research is not only about discovery of something unknown. It is coming up with a new explanation of something that is known. Second, research is a process. It is a process of searching for something to solve an existing problem or difficulty to solve. Research is also understood as a systematic investigation or inquiry entailing collection of data, documentation of critical information, analysis, and interpretation of information. From the given definition, this highlights the manner how research is conducted. It is systematic. The question is, how does it become systematic and what makes it systematic? The term systematic entails the structure. Therefore, whenever collecting data, documenting information, 
analyzing and interpreting information are conducted, a particular method is being used. On the other hand, research can be also viewed as the formation of new knowledge and the employment of previous or existing knowledge into a new and creative way. Imagine these two scenarios, mother giving birth to a baby and a father molding a pot. The creation of new knowledge can be compared to a mother giving birth. The mother stands for the research itself and the baby is a new knowledge. Thus, through research, new knowledge is being born. On the other hand, a pottery molding a pot can be parallel to the use of existing knowledge in a new creating way. Here, the pottery stands for the researcher. The clay as the existing knowledge and the pot itself is the new knowledge made creatively. Lesson 2. Importance of Research to Our Daily Lives Naiinis ka ba kung may power interruption? Naiisip mo ba ang isang mundo na walang kuryente? Nababahala ka ba kung hindi stable ang internet connection? Naiisip mo ba kung walang internet o kung walang cellphone? Well, syempre, ikaw ay maiinis, magagalit at mag-aalala. Magiging mahirap ang buhay kung walang kuryente. Magiging boring ang buhay kung walang cellphone o kahit internet. Nanganganib ang buhay kung walang gamot para sa COVID-19. Ngunit salamat sa research, lahat ng ating mga alalahanin ay nawala. Ito ay dahil sa research na ginawang komportable, madali at ligtas ang ating buhay. But ibang research ang nagpapago sa ating buhay. Here are some leading outputs of the researchers that really changed the world and our perspectives in lives. 1. Electricity 2. Engines 3. Telephone 4. Rubber 5. Modern Education 6. Computer 7. Internet 8. Vaccines for viruses 9. Antibiotics 10. Modern Medicine Naiisip mo ba kung walang nangahas na magsagawa ng research ng mga bagay na ito? For sure, magiging miserable ang buhay. Kaya naman, ang research ay talagang mahalaga sa atin. Research is very significant to our lives. It has gradually changed human life through history. Here are the five importance of research to our daily lives. 1. Research aims for truth. 2. Research improves quality of human life. 3. Research saves life. 4. Research gathers necessary information. 5. Research explores humanity. The research aims for truth. We crave truth for no one has the desire to live in lies. Ang research ay tungkol sa pagtatatag ng katotohanan batay sa ebidensya o datos. Nagsasagawa ng pag-aaral upang hanapin ang katotohanan. Isipin na lang, sa loob ng maraming siglo, naniniwala ang mga tao na ang mundo ay patag at ito ay nasa ibabaw ng isang higanting pagong. Ngunit dumating si Ferdinand Magellan na pinatunayan na ito ay hindi patag. Ang kanyang tapang at pagre-research ang nagpabuhay sa atin sa katotohanan ng bilog ang mundo. Have you ever heard about the belief that the Earth is the center of the universe? Sa totoo lang, sa loob ng maraming taon, naniniwala ang mga lalaki na ang lahat ay umiikot sa atin. Ngunit salamat kay Copernicus. Because of his tedious research, ngayon ay alam na natin na hindi ang Earth ang sentro ng universe kundi ang araw. I bet you can cite more examples related to this concern. Nonetheless, the main idea here is that research provides us an explanation or solution to particular problem based on truth. Research improves the quality of human life. Naniniwala ako na madalas mong marinig sa iyong mga magulang ang kanilang mga karanasan noong bata pa sila. Bagamat parang boring, nabubuhay sila na walang telebisyon, walang internet, walang cellphone, walang aircon, walang electric fan, walang computer o online games. Naiisip mo ba ang ganoong uri ng buhay? Pero tingnan mo ang sitwasyon natin ngayon. Lahat ng wala sa kanila noon, mayroon na tayo ngayon. Maaari ka na magluto ng walang apoy na kalan. Now, it is a matter of pushing a button with the use of a rice cooker or electric stove. Maaari mong tawagan o makita ang iyong mga kaibigan sa ibang bansa ng walang pagmamadali sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng mga social media platform. Maaari ka maglakbay kahit saan sa loob lamang ng ilang oras o ilang araw gamit ang iyong mga motorsiklo at bisikleta. Masisihan kang manatili sa bahay nang hindi lumalabas sa paggamit ng iyong mga smartphones. 
Ito ang buhay na mayroon tayo ngayon. Sa palagay mo ba ay bumabalang ito mula sa langit na parang ulan sa panahon ng tag-ulan? All of the technological advancement are brought by different researches. Without the people who dedicated their lives for the sake of humanity, we will not have this kind of life. Through research, it improves our standards of living. Research saves a life. Through the course of human history, research has proven its worth and role in our lives. In the past, kapag ang penicillin ay hindi pa natuklasan, ang mga tao ay mamamatay lamang ng walang tamang gamot. It was by the research of Fleming that the first generation of antibiotics were discovered. Sa parehong panahon, paano natin malilimutan ang naging research ni Dr. Abelardo Aguilar, isang Pilipino doktor? Isa sa mga nag-ambag sa pagkaatuklas ng erythromycin noong uling bahagi ng 1940s. Ngayon, mayroon na tayong mabisang gamot sa bakterya na nagdudulot ng infeksyon sa respiratory tract. Bukod dito, pinahusay ni Dr. Fe Del Mundo ang incubator at jandice revealing device. Now, premature babies and those suffering from jandice can survive and enjoy life in the future. Sa sitwasyon natin ngayon na may banta ng COVID-19, ang tanging pag-asa ay research. Research on understanding the disease, development of vaccines, and medication will save us. Nonetheless, researchers are doing their best working day and night to have a medical remedy for this pandemic. Later, research will succeed and will continue to provide us a safer life. Research gathers the necessary information. Conducting research implies gathering necessary data to explain your problem and to answer your particular questions. For example, gusto mong maunawaan ang mga pananaw ng mga mag-aaral tungkol sa modular na pag-aaral. Pagkatapos, magsagawa ka ng survey sa mga respondents o interview. Kaya ang nilalaman ng survey questionnaire at ang guided interview ay dapat nakahanay sa iyong problema at sa mga tanong na gusto mong sagutin. Sa ganitong paraan, mangangalap ka ng mga mahalagang datos na kailangan para sa iyong research. Isa pang halimbawa, noong nagsisimula pa lang kumalat ang COVID-19, ang mga medical na eksperto ay naguguluhan tungkol sa umuusbong na sakit. Many of them wanted to know what was the cause. Some of them investigated how it is being transmitted. Some experts dealt with medical mapping. Others determined the incubation period and how it can be prevented. Each of them intensively conducted a particular study to answer their queries. They did many laboratory experiments, observations, and literature review. Ang mga datos na nauugnay lamang sa kanilang mga katanungan ay sinaalang-alang. Now, we have at least a good perspective on the manner the virus is transmitted, possible medication, ways to prevent it, incubation period, and location affected by the pandemic. Thus, the necessary information to understand the situation was gathered. Research explores humanity. Alam mo ba na ang mga bataan nyo ay nakabuo ng natatanging intonasyon at mga salita sa Tagalog? Alam mo ba na ang kantang at ikopong singsing ay tungkol sa kultura ng kapangpangan? Alam mo ba na sa sambales, ang mga aita ay may nakaugalian na paniniwala sa pangalaga ng ina at sanggol batay sa kanilang tradisyon at pananampalataya na dumaan sa mga henerasyon? Alam mo ba na ang mga dumagat ng aurora ay tinuturing na bahagi ng kanilang pang-ekonomiyang buhay ang pagdarasal? Alam mo ba na ang lalawigan ng tarlac ay nagmula sa malatarlac? Sigurado akong pamilyar ka sa ilan sa mga tanong na ito. Ito ay ang mga halimbawa lamang kung paano ginalugad ng research ang kultura ng mga tao. Research likewise deals with the investigation of culture to understand and to appreciate others' practices and beliefs. Ang paraan ng pag-unawa natin sa iba ay resulta ng mahabang pag-aaral ng iba't ibang individual upang magbigay sa atin ng mga paliwanag tungkol sa grupo o individual na kultura. Dahil dito, maaari na nating iugnay, unawain, at igalang ang iba. Probably, you have your own experience aware with your own experience how research works. These five importance are just the representation of many benefits we can get out of research. Research is important because it aims for truth, improves quality of human life, saves life, gather necessary information, and explores humanity. Now, open your module on page 9 and 17 for your assessment. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.